Hello guys, it's Kule here from Cade. I talk about anything and everything to do with architecture and interior design, but when it comes to CAD Jutator, I talk about anything AutoCAD. Basically, I go over all um, commands, all topics, all most things I can covering uh, AutoCAD. So today we're going to talk about uh, how to draw glass railings. As you can see, drawing uh, glass on windows is pretty straightforward. You put the streaks in there and that's it someone looking at it would understand that that's glass but what if you had glass railings that's a completely different way of drawing it so i'm not going to do much i'm just going to go straight into the tutorial of how to draw these so let's say right here this is a, a building and these are stairs that lead to the very top and the client wants glass railings so what i would do is we know that the typical glass railing goes up at three feet. So I would offset these lines to three feet. Oh, it's actually one piece. Since it's one piece, what I would actually do then is just draw three feet. Knowing that that is what is gonna that's what's gonna happen at three feet. So I'm just gonna go there and I'm gonna go there. So I basically have my lines. I have it over there looking like that's where the glass goes but of course you're just not gonna, you're just not going to have one complete glass piece it's going to be super expensive so what you're going to have is individual panes so in drawing those individual panes let me draw the pieces that connect them together so I'll draw maybe a, um, a three inch yeah three inch railing should be fine I'll go there there and I close it and I have the piece over here that's going to connect by four maybe yeah one by four piece so I'm going to have this piece here that connects all glasses I'm going to mirror that and I have my pieces so I'm going to kind of copy these for just for the sake of this video I'm not going to be perfect and direct and try to do each and every single one but I'll just show you let me copy this and I'll probably make hmm, what's a good one four feet paints yeah four feet then I'll move it again eight feet then I'll move it again twelve feet move it again 16 feet then 20 feet then 24 feet then 28 feet yeah, and 32 feet and then this one I'll probably just make it end somewhere over there <coughs> so basically what I'm trying to depict is that oh and because this is at the end that would of course not be there because it will be going straight and it will be on the other side so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try highlight the panes in each one so I would draw one coming from the middle here to the top going across the midpoint sometimes it's difficult to try getting a midpoint but I'll probably just do this and I want it let me just quickly draw this part so that we can of course because it's not perfect what we want to do is make sure like just like here it goes through the central pane so I'm gonna draw that I'm gonna move this across like that and I'm also gonna have it from the middle to the ground move this across uh, oh, over here too midpoint to the ground move this across and usually with codes the base of the railing typically should not have a baby's head be able to go through it so in most cases you would have about three inches off the ground three to four inches off the ground so for this case just because I want to be a little bit elaborate and just so that it's clear so that you can see it I'll probably move it about four inches upwards so about four inches and I'll move this one also four inches up 
but then these will remain the same so I'm gonna trim this part just so that there's a difference and you know that it's glass and you don't want it to compete you know with the top of the railings so maybe I'll take this and push it down maybe two inches yeah two inches is fine another two inches is alright and I'm gonna delete this part and I'm gonna delete that oh and then uh, what I'll do is I'll trim this part out here and trim this part out here so if you've created glass or something it's much easier to take a streak example from here I'll probably take this small streak over here I'll copy it and I would paste it somewhere in here so you can have an idea that it's glass but what you want to do is create more of an accent towards it you just don't want it to match anything else you want to have an idea that there is something behind it and you're not going to really see much of it over here maybe when we get to this part over here you'd be able to see what it would look like but initially what I would do is I would hatch this because you want to create a solid hatch and I'm doing this as I go so sometimes if I'm slow just bear with me so I want to pick my points by the way if you don't know how to hatch I'll make a video just so that you understand what hatching is so there's a, a, a selection hatch and I'll just go OK so right now it looks very solid in fact it even looks like a door but you want it to look like a piece of glass so what I usually do sometimes what some people do is they would actually change the opacity of this but what I would typically do is I would look for a color that symbolizes uh, a, a soft kind of tint to it and I usually use 250 color 253 or color 254 and so kind of looks a little bit like that maybe 253 is a bit too dark let's go 254 and 254 looks almost much better right so what I want to do now is I want to copy this piece of glass and you have to copy everything every piece of the glass Hmm, what's that every piece of the glass I'm just gonna copy it from a point so because I know that it's gonna be like that on every single point I'll copy it from the middle of each frame and I'll paste it on the middle of each railing so I know that it's, there's gonna be that consistency and it's probably only the last one that, that I might have to change because I remember it wasn't perfect for example this one right here we can always work on that afterwards so when you're looking at it again you can see that it looks like glass but here it looks doesn't look like it right it looks like concrete so what I'm gonna do to make it look realistic is I'll click on the hatch itself and I'll right click and draw order send to back and I'll do the same for this one draw order send to back click here again draw order send to back so now when you're looking you can see that it's a piece of glass behind the object I mean in front of the object so you can kind of see the object behind it so if you ended up putting a person over there you'd always put the solid hatch behind everything else so it has the look of glass so anyways that is a quick uh, tutorial of my video. Okay, wait, let me actually finish this one before. Okay, so I want to fix this. Hmm. I actually have to delete this. Move this one right here. I move this one to right here. I want to create by the way if you want to straighten your lines you press F8 those are little uh, bits of information I gave throughout while I'm working on things like that but yes if you want to do that you press F8 to straighten lines out otherwise you're not gonna have a very smooth uh, geometric shape so 
so I've done that part I've got to remove this because it's not needed so I'll create another hatch pick points select it enter OK and I want to match properties so I type MA and it's asking me what is the property you want to match I'm selecting it by clicking on the hatch come on and it's asking for the destination okay it's not oh actually so this is what happened because this is sent to the back oh okay 254 so I could either match properties or I could just go there and change it to 254 and draw order send to the back so that is how you create glass railings if I wanted it to look better you know if I wanted it to match I would probably just match um, the walls like this color right here I'd match that and I'll match this match that match this match that and if I wanna kinda be quick without you know wasting your time you who are watching this video right now I'll just do that and it's done so basically recap what you want to do is create your hatch you want to create your object you want to create your streaks across you want to create the hatch and then once the hatch is created make sure that it is sent to sent to the back so that anything behind it would show and it would give the idea the sense of idea that this is glass and there are things behind it you can use this when you're trying to make more elaborate elevations generally it's not needed but if you want to to, to, to improve your drawings and make your drawings look more artistic while being technically sound, this is what you do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped you, and as always, I'm Kule from Kate, and I talk about anything and any, everything to do with architecture and interior design, but today I'm your Kajutator. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.